What's up, I'm pretty excited today because in this episode, I am gonna get inside my Royal River Terrapin Pond or the Battergraff Finnis. And basically what I'm gonna do is see how they're doing. They've been here for two months. We got them from the Wildlife Conservation Society. We wanna make sure their skin is doing good, that they're healthy, keeping their weight. So that's what I'm about to do today. So stick around because we are going turtle hunting. Oh boy, it's cold. It's cold. It's gonna be a little, a little chilly here, but anyway, I'm gonna get in, we're gonna find some turtles, and I'll be right back. It's gonna hurt once I get to right about here. See ya. Oh yeah, that's cold water, man. Ugh. All right, let's get to work. Um, okay, so I'm in the pond and what I gotta do now is I basically just walk the pond and when I feel a turtle, I gotta dive and it's cold, man. So I gotta dive in and grab them out. And the whole reason I'm doing this is because the reason I even have these animals is because they're being kept indoors at Dallas Fort Worth Zoo and they kept getting a skin fungus or a skin, they don't even know if it was bacterial, um, they were getting a skin ailment. So they wanted to get them moved to someplace warm where they could be outdoors. And believe it or not, there are five turtles in here. The four river terrapin and the one fly river turtle. So we're gonna get lucky and see what I can step on here. I'm stepping on logs right now. But um, yeah, I wanna see how they're doing. Oh, wait, no, that's not them, hold on. To be honest, I actually think that there's a nice place where they hide or one hide. So let's see if we get lucky. I'm gonna try and pull one out. There's an overhang here. And I think if I just reach under here, I got one. I got one. Oh yeah, I got a big one. Oh my God, did I get the big girl already? Holy smokes, you're gonna love this folks. I think I did. I got the big girl. Okay. Oh, look at that. Let's put her up here. Okay, and let's have a look at this pretty lady. So this is the Royal River Terrapin, or Badiger affinis. It is one of the world's largest freshwater turtles. And I wanna just have a look at her. And she's looking pretty good, man. I wanna just see her skin. I have to flip her. Everything looks good, no lesions. Part of the reason that we think that the animals were having problems with their skin was because they, you know, they didn't have mud to burrow into. And so mud is actually a great thing for these animals because mud and sand creates a little microhabitat. And microhabitats, you know, there's so many things that happen to an organism when it's out there in the, uh, in the environment. And they know what they need. You ever take a mud bath? You see the ladies put face, like mud baths on their face um, or a mask, and that's because it helps with skin. And that's exactly what I think is helping with their skin. Just having a nice soft bottom to burrow into. There's all kinds of microbes in there that are helping them out. But is this not a beautiful animal? Look at her, holy smokes. Um, the, the goal here is to get this gal to breed uh, and lay eggs. So we'll leave her up here. And let me see if I can find someone else. She's, oh, well, she's going back in. See you later, sweetie. Go ahead. Whew, she looked good. Okay, that's one down. Let's keep going. Let me reach under here. She likes it under that overhang. Oh, it goes deep too, but there's nobody else in there. All right, I'm gonna get serious now, guys. Let's find another turtle. Oh. I'm not looking forward to having to dive under this when I feel another animal. Oh, oh. I got something, I had something. Shucks. I'm stirring them all up so they're moving around now. Shucks. I wish this water was clear so I could just put on a mask and snorkel. But that's not happening. Oh, we got a male. Oh, and look at how pretty this animal is. Woo! Oh, they're fast. Look at this. The males are much smaller than the females. Oh, I'm tripping over logs. I've lost them. Let's get out. And I'll show you this beauty. 
So here's the male, and look at how beautiful these eyes are, okay? Oh, that's such a cool animal. Royal River Terrapin, such an honor to be able to foster these animals for the Wildlife Conservation Society. Um, and look at the skin, beautiful. No lesions on the skin, nothing to be concerned about. Beautiful, beautiful paddles, uh, real strong swimmers. These are animals, they're terrapins. In the United States, we call tortoises animals that live on land, uh, turtles that live on land. Turtles are freshwater or live near freshwater, and terrapins are animals that live in brackish water. Now, these are from Asia. They're called the Royal River Terrapin in English. Batagra finis is their scientific name. These animals live in river systems, swim down the rivers to the mouth of the rivers. The females then lay their eggs uh, on the same beaches that sea turtles will lay their eggs. So these animals will enter uh, salt water and live in brackish water conditions for a time in their life cycle. Uh, beautiful. This animal looks really good. This is a male. Look at those eyes. Is that not gorgeous? A very strange looking animal, a very strange looking turtle, but Beautiful, beautiful. So in the pond, I have two males and two females. We have the large female, which we saw first. Uh, this, this nice male with the white eyes, but we have a male that has some really beautiful golden eyes. Maybe I'll find him next. But let me just give a look and see the, his back end. They're well fed, as you can see. Uh, so his back end looks good. These animals are looking fantastic. They've been in this pond now, going on three months. So pretty excited. Okay, gonna let you go, bub. Look at a beautiful underground. And again, just like other uh, species of freshwater turtle, the males have the long tail and their cloaca is further away from the base of their plastron. See this? It's, it's put out there. Ready to let him go? All right. Let me get shots. Yeah. Fucking fire ants. Well, get off the nest. Get off the Get off the nest. Dude, you gotta get uh. out of there. Fuck. Fuck. You said you didn't want fire ants this week. Why are you wearing sandals? Because I didn't think I was going to be in fire ant nest. Dude, are you kidding me? Ah! All over. I know, you were standing in the <laughs> nest. Fuck. <sighs> oh, I'm recording during all that. Okay, so we're going to let this guy go. Go ahead. Cool, two more to go. Watch your feet. I'm really not happy right now. <laughs> Go get shoes on and come back. All right. How you doing? I'm okay. I'll survive. Uh, I caught two of the same turtles over again, so we're still looking for another turtle. With a bonus. If we get a bonus, that'd be great, and that would be the Fly River Turtle, just for, just for the heck of it. Come on. Don't over here. Hey, look what I got! <laughs> I got the Fly River Turtle. <laughs> All right, let's have a look at this animal. Let's see. All right, little buddy. How cool is that? That was total luck. Holy smokes. Look at how perfect it looks. Okay, you guys remember when we built this pond, we did the episode? Well, as you can see, the little turtle is doing fantastic. And these guys suffer from similar ailments because they like certain uh, quality water, they like tannin-rich water. Um, but look how perfect it is, huh? Natural, outdoors, real happy, good weight, look at that, huh? Nice, all right, that's always cool, man. Because this one hides all the time, I never see him. How you going? All right, well, very cool, I'm gonna let this guy go and continue the search. That was awesome, good to get you, man. All right, put him up here, let him walk in on his own. Go ahead, come on in. I'll be walking for turn. Come on, come back in, there he goes. Right into me, and he's got sharp claws, and he's gone. All right, I'm back in. Well, that was the bonus, the bonus turtle. There's another male, where is he? <sighs> I can't believe these turtles are hiding that well.
Oh, man! <laughs> I got you again! Get out of here. <sighs> that never happens. <sighs> I could look for that guy my entire, like, for weeks. Ugh. <clears throat> Don't go underwater. It's a little nerve-wracking sticking your hand way deep in the... But that's where it seems they've been carving it out. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Oh. Oh. We got something here, kitties. We got two... So well, we got... There she is. Oh, it's another male. Here's the other male. This is what I was looking for. All right. And he thinks he's swimming real fast, but... Mm. Oh, look at this male. A little bit bigger, but what pretty eyes. Okay. And uh, again, we're going to have a, just a look to make sure that he is in good shape. And he is. All right. How beautiful, Batiker Finnis. Get a close up of these eyes. This, this, this animal's just got the prettiest eyes. Now in breeding season, these guys will change color and they get real colorful. But my gosh, such a pretty turtle. Strange nose, strange face on this animal. Look at that upturned nose. Just so he could stick that nose out, get a breath, and then cruise. And all over their range, these guys are under threat, obviously, because they're so big, so there's a lot of meat on them. So all the big ones get fished out, and usually the bigger ones are the females. And uh, when you remove big reproducing, fe reproducing females like that from the environment, it's catastrophic for the species. Because as we know, only a small fraction of the eggs that they lay hatch and survive to adulthood. But my gosh, what a pretty animal. You can see why they call them the Royal River Terrapin. They truly are royalty here at Camp Cannon. Well, folks, we got three terrapin. We got one of the uh, fly river turtles. I'm gonna keep searching, but I think Tom needs to uh, tend to his wounds from the fire ants. So I'll post an update, let you guys know how that final female's doing. But judging by the skin on the three terrapins, I don't think we're gonna have any problems. Looks like the Camp Kennan spa treatment is going well. How about we let this guy go? And I'll let you guys go. Thanks for joining me. We'll see you next time. See you, guy. Get going. I'm gonna just enjoy my pond. Oh, who needs a swimming pool? I should probably disinfect myself after this. See ya.